Your Instagram bio is literally the introduction to who you are as a person and as an artist. So I say Instagram, but this video can be applied for TikTok, Twitter or any social media network. I'm going to tell you the key things you have to put to don't miss out in potential clients and potential followers. You have to use that tiny space in a very clever way. So I'm going to tell you how to do it in this video and I'm going to show you my two favorite apps to do a link in bio, a very good looking one. So if you have more than just your website, you can put all the links together you want people to see in a very nice way and very professional. So first things first, subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet or you are new here and you enjoy photography and creativity and give a thumbs up to the video because everyone forgets and it helps me a lot with the growth of my channel. So we're going to start talking about the key things you have to put in your Instagram bio or any bio. And the first one would be who you are. It's as easy as to put if you are a photographer and filmmaker and you can add here as well your niche, but don't put too many because it looks messy and it's not too credible. I like a lot of niches, but I don't put them because we all know that in Instagram it's better to focus in one niche and if you have another niche, you can start another profile. But in one profile, focus in one niche or two if they are related. You can put fashion photographer and portrait photographer and that's fine because they are quite related. So you can put your niche or you cannot put it if you want to be more generic, but always put who you are because people want to see if you're a photographer, filmmaker, any kind of artist really, so you can put whatever here, but put who you are because this is super important, it's the main thing. The second thing, it would be where are you based? I see so many people and so many of you actually, because so many times when I talk to you guys on Instagram, I do check where are you from because I like to know. So I check and then you guys don't have their, the city where you live or the town. And this is very bad, not for me, but for a client. If they are looking for photographers in their town, they are not able to, to book you because they don't know where are you from. And you will be thinking that they can text you to ask you. Nobody does that. We are lazy, guys. We are scrolling and in two seconds we yet and we want to know everything about someone. So if someone is going to see you and they don't see where are you based, they're just going to pass and they're going to go to another photographer. So very important to put photographer, filmmaker, London-based, whatever, or the places where you travel to. For example, in my account, I have London and Ibiza, but you can put wherever you live or whichever places you visit frequently per year. Then the next thing would be to put a little statement about who you are. This is optional, but it's quite nice to put it to give the audience better understanding of who you are so make your own. You can put whatever you like, but make it relevant. For example, in my Instagram account, I have working with passionate beings because I'm an artist photographer, but I do all kinds of photo shoots, to be honest, but this is what I enjoy the most. So I put working with passionate beings because I love shooting with talents. And actually, because I'm a very passionate person, I love working with people who has a talent and they are very passionate about what they do. So in this little statement, I try to communicate a bit more about who I am but then you can make this your own. You can put whatever you like, which attract more clients and describe more your personality. This is a nice thing to put, but it's optional. Then another thing, it would be referred to another Instagram account you may have. This is as well optional, but you have another Instagram account like I do. I do have a travel account because it doesn't match at all with the creative portraits I post in this account. So I put it there. I put travel and I put her nomad soul. So you can make a link for the other Instagram account over there. And the next thing would be a call to action. This is super important. Time ago, I used to put my link and that's it. But it's very rare when people click it because people are busy or they don't care actually. <laughs> but you put a call to action, like click below to see more of my work or you can put as well, visit my website to see more of my work or more portfolio. You can put whatever, but always invite people to watch. Then I put like a little arrow so it's more visual. You can check my profile how I have it. And I put my YouTube, my gear, my presets. So I put everything there and then arrows and a call to action as well. In my case, I don't have it, but I do put YouTube and more stuff over there and some arrows. So people know what to expect in that link. So this is super important as well. And now I'm gonna show you the two free apps I use to do that link in bio to look good. I do pay link three. I did pay for a year because it wasn't too expensive and I'm very picky with the visuals of my profiles and it was very customizable and the logo disappeared. So I did it this way, but you don't have to pay for it. They have a free version. I see many people using it. And the only downside is like, it's not that customizable and the logo appears, but you can still do it. And it's very good to put all your links. And the second I use is from my favorite app 
ever. I mentioned it time ago in another video, I'm gonna link down below, apps for creatives, my favorite apps for creatives, and it's Unfold. Unfold is actually updating itself a lot because now they have like a plan for Instagram as well, where you can plan your Instagram grid, and then you have as well a link in bio thing. So this is super customizable, even on the free version. You have the logo, but I don't even care because I love this app so much that I don't even care to promote it. And I do pay Unfold per year as well because for Instagram stories is incredible, but the link in bio is very good looking. And this one, I use it for my travel account. You can see it here. And it looks very good because you can customize the colors, the profile and all the links you want to do. I'm not 100% sure if it's totally free for you guys if you don't pay Unfold. I think it is. Please let me know in the comments below because I know if I want to remove the logo, I do have to pay for the brand's version, which I don't because I'm not a brand, I'm an individual. And uh, I do have the logo, but I think it's free as well for you guys, even if you don't pay Unfold. So please let me know. I think it's free and it looks very, very good. It's super easy to follow these steps. Remember, put who you are, photographer, filmmaker, whatever you do. Put where are you based, put a call to action and then put a link in bio unless you have just your website. And if you don't have a website, you should do a website and you can improve your profile perfectly. So I hope this video was useful. Comment below if you have any questions because I always reply to every single one of them. And it's very intuitive, these two apps. By you struggle, please text me on Instagram as well because I always reply. And I will see you very soon around here.